Welcome to Devotions for Wednesday, November 4th, 2020. I want to show you what's going on in the gym. I'm actually recording this the day before. Give you a quick peek in here. Let's see. Lots of people in the gym. Quite honestly, it's the first time we've really had anything going on in here since March. I'm going to sit down and do our regular devotions now. That, I'm sure you figured out, was a sight of people in our gym voting. Right? Something that goes on at Gethsemane each year and sometimes more than once in a year. Uh, it's an opportunity as Christians who are who are Americans. It's our opportunity to um, to vote, to express our desires about our leadership. And so that's um, what's going on in there right now. That's okay. okay. And this is where things are going on. Let me move a little bit so that people have a little more space to move around. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get started with the prayer of the day. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, of justice and love, you illumine our way through life. With the words of your Son, give us the light we need and awaken us to the needs of others. Through Christ, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The reading is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 to 18. St. Paul writes, Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death so that you do not grieve like the rest of the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are still left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. So, this is a great reading. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that this has been understood by Christian people. Um, everything from uh, just a theoretical idea to the rapture, expecting Jesus to come back in a certain way. But I think it's important that when we read this, we don't just look at it for details about how things are going to happen, but what the most important part is. And it's always in the Bible, the most important thing that gets answered. It's not what or when or why or how, it's who. Who, who? And the answer here is Jesus. That's the who, God himself. And it's very clear here. Uh, we believe that Jesus died and rose again. I'm reading again from the same thing. And that that uh, what um, what is called the people who have fallen asleep in him. Remember when Lazarus died and they said he's fallen asleep? No, he had died. And that's what that means. And so... That's not what falling asleep always means, of course not, but that's what it means here. That's what the idea is, that those who have already died, that all those who have already died and all of us yet living who will eventually die, that we will all be brought together with Christ in the end. That's the most important thing. And I love the very last verse on this. Verse 18 says, therefore, encourage one another with these words. Encouragement is needed when times are tough. We've been in some tough times lately, and just over the last few days, I've talked to a few people who are having tough times beyond um, beyond what COVID-19 is providing for us. Health concerns, family issues, things like that. Um, times can be very tough, and it's very important that we constantly remind one another and encourage one another um, that that this life is not the end, this death is not the end, that we always look forward to the time with Jesus. And, and in the meantime, that helps us get through whatever is in front of us today, what, whatever difficult time is in front of us, and that's very important. So, um, I hope that things are peaceful and good today as we start the day, that the end of the election day uh, 
what will be last night as you're watching this, um, closes with our country being unified in whatever decision is made about a president, whatever decision is made about any of the elections that we have voted on today. Um, we know that ultimately we are not just citizens of this country or even of this world. The cheering happens when there's a first time voter, I found out. We are not just citizens of this country or this world. We are citizens of heaven. We are citizens. We are God's own people. And that's the most important part that we hold on to. Let's pray together. We bring our prayers before you, dear Lord. We thank you and we praise you for. We pray for our concerns for this world and for our nation. We pray for the concerns of the communities in which we live. We lift our faith communities to you in prayer. We pray for our friends and our families, for those dealing with difficulty and those celebrating with joy. We especially pray for Ruth Ann and David, Judy and Tom, Kathy. We give thanks and praise for the birth of Benjamin. We pray for Mary Lou, Omarion, Kendra B, Reverend Fred Keller, Adriana, Tim, and Marion, and the family of Richard Smith. We lift up before you the ministries of A Mother's Hope and the Cup of Kindness through Lutheran Social Services. Be with us this day, Jesus, and help us in the following ways. As you've taught us, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.